What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm doing a little more coffee science. So, lately I was cruising through Instagram and saw just a lot of talk about people using AeroPress filters to up the extraction with their espresso. So, I noticed this on Scott Rao and Socratic, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to pull the first shot standard, no filters. I'm going to use this as my control group in this uh, experiment. And then I'm going to pull three other shots using different filters. So shot one, I'm going to use a rinsed filter beneath the puck. As you can see, I've trimmed the filter, rinsed it, and now I'm going to run the shot. All right, so there's shot number one. Shot number two. I'm going to put a rinsed filter beneath the puck and put a dry one on top. Now this is what Scott Rao had mentioned he had done, so I'm going to try that as well. There goes shot number two. And finally shot number three, I'm going to put a dry filter just above the puck and see how that works. As you can see on all these shots, I put 18 grams in, shot for about 36 grams out, and just kind of let the time be what it's going to be. I didn't change the grind at all. I'm going to use a filter for each espresso sample. I've also let them cool to be a good temperature to test the TDS. The first shot I'm going to test is the standard shot using no filters. As you can see, the TDS comes out to 9.49. Now we're going to dive into the filtered shots. First one is the rinse filter on the bottom, and that comes out to 9.89. Shot number two is the rinsed filter on the bottom and the dry filter on top. TDS on that comes out to 10.03. And last but not least, Shot number three is just the dry filter on top, and the TDS of that one is 9.94. So these are some interesting results, uh, not what I expected, but here's what I came up with. The filters in any position cause a higher TDS and extraction. There's a small effect on shot time overall, but minimal resistance is added. Uh, filters on top prevent channeling and promotes an even extraction. Filters on the bottom keeps fines from clogging the basket. The highest TDS achieved was using filters on both top and bottom. That one just had a lower percentage because I think I didn't run it quite as long. And then the biggest downside is increased waste and having to cut those filters by hand. It's kind of a pain. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Prometheus, the blog at Prometheus.com. And as always, Stay caffeinated, pony boy.